Here's another message that I got on Instagram. It says, Dear Dana, I've been researching narcissism for about three months. I've been seeing this person for a few years now. He has made me feel completely crazy. I do blame myself at times because I am a tad codependent and have an insecure attachment issue. I will read things that some of the things match up with him and others don't. And so I doubt at times whether or not he's truly a narcissist at all. I've chalked it up to a difference in culture. Uh, he seems <clears throat> he seems caring and is somewhat controlling, but says it is for my safety. And some of it may be, I don't know. At this point, I doubt myself and everything. He has told me before he was going to the movies with a date when he was mad at me and told me to move on and then called back 45 minutes later saying he was teasing and trying to get my attention and that I was silly to have believed that anyways. What do I do and how do I know for sure? I feel so confused and lost. When I've tried no contact, he shows up and I'm able to block him and ignore calls and texts, but he calls with blocked numbers and he shows up at my house. I've even had my locks changed. What, what do you think? And so with that, really the, the first part of that, the first sentence it was enough. The, he has made me feel completely crazy. That's right there. That's a problem. That's a sign. That's a sign of psychological abuse. Because remember, you know, normally we don't feel crazy. We don't feel like we doubt our perceptions. We doubt our reality. We can't tell if it's him or if it's us. So you can tell within this question how the, the internal war she's got going on inside of her with, is it him? Is it me? What am I experiencing? Is he a narcissist? I think I'm kind of codependent. I think he's, he's controlling, but it might be caring, but I, I just, I'm not sure anymore. So it just gets so twisted up and, and turned around. And so that's a problem feeling when you're, if you're dating a person and you feel completely crazy around them or even crazy at times, that's a problem. Um, researching narcissism <laughs> in an attempt to researching your relationship. If you go online and you're trying to figure out what am I experiencing is it, is it him? Is it me? Is it her? Is it me? Is it, is this a problem? That's a problem because normal people in a normal relationship don't research their relationship. They feel comfortable. You know, again, think about how do you feel when you're around some, around a close friend, probably comfortable and it's enjoyable. You, you have a good, you, you know, you know where you stand. Uh, you don't with when you're dealing with an emotional manipulator, and that's why that's why you're feeling this way. Um, okay, and this is what we were talking about earlier. He seems to care and is somewhat controlling, but he says it's for my safety. So that's confusing control with caring. It can look similar, being like, I, you know, I just I'm calling you all the time and I'm checking up on you because I care. I'm worried about your safety. <clears throat> that's control. And that's a problem. So coming by your house, calling from blocked phone numbers, changing your locks because you're afraid of somebody that you're dating is a problem. So having fear, it's not normal or healthy to be afraid of who you're dating. Um, that's a problem. Uh, him going on a date uh, right away and saying he's going on a date because he's mad at you. And then, and this is, this is gaslighting. So exactly what you're describing. And then tells me to move on, then calls back 45 minutes later saying he was just teasing and trying to get my attention and that I was silly to have believed him. That's probably one of the big reasons that you're feeling crazy is because that's how they plant these seeds of doubt and insecurity and jealousy. And so, but because it's not so outright and because their actions are doing one thing and their words are saying another, 
that's how things get so confused and twisted around to where we're not sure is it is it us or is it them? I, it, can I just not take a joke? I, I don't know. Or was this person being serious? And was I stupid to even think that I, that they were serious and who, what, like, yeah, what's going on? That, that is problematic. That's gaslighting. That's psychological abuse. Um, so yeah, there's everything in here is red flag, red flag, red flag, red, 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 red flag city, like red flag city. So when you're around, when you're in a healthy relationship, when you're with a solid person who's being, who's having open, honest, sincere, solutions oriented communication, who's treating you with dignity and respect, there, that confusion, that crazy making, that uh, all of this, that's not present. So that's, a, I think, a great way to kind of tell what's, what's going on there. Lots of love to you guys. You are not alone. You are not crazy. And you really can move forward and heal from this.